Yeah, yeah, yeah. One's in hospital. <laughs> one is looking after the one in hospital. Really? Uh, what what has happened? Because of the cycling race tonight. Yeah. yeah. So he stopped midway and came back. He stopped midway and went oh back. Yeah. yeah. And then did the race. Yeah. And then one guy just gone off to his mates in Britain. Yeah. Cool. Well, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you have food for us. Yeah, I think there is food. Uh, food. Yeah, good. We're starving. <laughs> Why on earth would you cycle to Glen Eagles? Well, I've had this idea for a while, which is that sometimes there aren't enough places to park your bike. <laughs> you can't park your bike in a nice place. And I had this idea that I could park it up in the, in the butt cheeks of George Bush. I don't know how I get this Where are you from? Copenhagen, Denmark. Denmark. And what are you going to do in Scotland? Um, we're going to um, sit on some Torpedoes, I've heard. Find some torpedoes somewhere. That's lame. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should try to launch a few of our own. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you decide to cycle? What's wrong with the train? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've kind of heard British people on trains are really nasty. How long is this bike ride going to take you? Mm, if I if I keep up with the rest, it's going to be what's it? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks on bike. Everyone's fixing up their bikes and uh, putting racks on, and uh, yeah, it looks good. You feeling excited? I am. Yeah, I'm you're feeling lively and energetic and ready for anything. I'm wired on lack of sleep, really. Already? Yeah. <laughs> so how far you got to go? Uh, 450 miles, something like that. No, I thought it was 500. Uh, it's about 450. Okay. I think maybe a bit more. And you're well, we cycle around a lot in Scotland when we get there as well. So. Mm -hmm. What stops you've got en route? Anything exciting? Uh, yeah, well, we've got. Uh, we well, should have something fairly interesting every night, but we've got uh, three quite long days of riding before our first rest day. We're stopping at the uh, Linslade bypass uh, where there's been a road protest camp, and uh, that'll be tomorrow night. And then we're hooking up with some. Um, local campaigners against the airport expansion in Coventry um, and then we're going to have a rest day chill out at the Sumac Centre in Nottingham I'm not sure what's going on there but we've got other stops later on on the route as well so plenty plenty to do what's happened to your bike this is Mark's bike actually we're just uh, she got a flat uh, when we packed it up so we just had to patch the flat and we're just waiting our turn for the pump Looks like you could do some wheels. Yeah, well, you know. Where are you from? New York. And where are you going? We are going to Glen Eagles in what? Scotland. What? Are you going to play golf? Yeah, we're going to play golf. There's actually this tournament, the uh, People's Golfing Association. Uh, we're up for you know, a round or two, 18 holes, I suppose. I don't know what the par is. But... Mm -hmm. I hear there's uh, some other Americans up there. What's his name? Um, oh, uh, George, George uh, Bush. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be around. Um, I don't know. I mean, yours? Oh, we're tight, you know. Um, I'm hoping he's gonna, you know, want to hang out. We'll have a few beers. I don't know what else, but you know, I actually do have a couple things I'd like to talk to him about. Yeah, um, what kind, of, what kind of stuff? I, I hear, uh, I hear he's talking a lot about Africa these days. I don't think he's talking a lot about Africa. I'm not sure he even could recognize it on a map. The thing is that he and his buddies are gonna get together in Glen Eagles, and they're gonna talk about, you know, everything. They're just, they're just gonna come up with their plan and coordinate their plan. But the thing is that, that um, you know, he and his buddies shouldn't be the ones that get to decide, you know, what we're doing as, as a society. We should. Um, we should. And uh, when I say we, I mean, you know, everybody. It's, it's I do believe they are going to be talking about Africa. Are there any Africans uh, at the, in G8? You know, surprisingly enough, there's, there's not. Um, they're going to the, they're gonna go to the G8 summit and they're going to pretend that they're going to talk about issues that that matter and they're not going to they're just going to they're just going to further the system that, that we live in that perpetuates their wealth and their control and their domination uh, at the expense of everyone else on the planet and you're going to challenge that with a bicycle yeah so what's the, what's the bicycle's got to do with any of this what's the bike's got to do with g8 
The bicycle? Oh, the bicycle. It's, um... It is, it is my favorite piece of technology. It's a, it's a liberatory technology. You can, you can understand this machine. You can have this one machine and it will last you for your lifetime uh, with, no, with very little impact on everybody else. You know, zero emissions, incredibly efficient. Um, oh, does this fit in with uh, like one of these other key issues that supposedly at the G8 is uh, climate change? Right. Um, you know, the, uh, in the US, 50 odd percent of our oil consumption is is for transit and it's completely unnecessary. Um, people would, you know, for example, take other means of transportation, for example, the bicycle. Then, you know, you could instantly have our oil our oil consumption um, and oil consumption. Obviously, emissions from vehicles and other other uh, burning of fossil fuels is responsible largely for global uh, climate change. So rather than just simply saying that, you know. Dear leaders, stop what you're doing. We're presenting an alternative model, an alternative way of doing things. This is this is what this is what another world would look like. Mm -hmm. Did you come to England especially for the G8? Pretty much. Um, Did you cycle here? Mm, no, the, the the pontoons just wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't stay put. Uh, you know, we flew, but we're spending a substantial amount of time here. You know, taking our two weeks to go up to the G8. Um, we're also going to cycle around afterwards. Yeah, you better get tree planting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> to make up for the airplane ride, I know. You know. How many miles do you know? Tomorrow? Yeah. Or tomorrow? No, for the whole thing. The whole thing? I don't, I don't know. I think tomorrow is 57 miles, I believe. I don't know how long the entire thing is, but, you know, 12 days of, 12 days of that. How many times do you think you're going to have to do that on the way? I hope not too many. This is already the second flat I've gotten since I got here. Let's see. Do you know how many miles it is? Uh, I don't actually. <laughs> I have no idea. Half a load. What did I do with my mind goes? What's the whole motivation for cycling there then? Why didn't you get a train? We could have got a train, but a lot of us are, are really into uh, cycling anyway. We go on critical mass and try and promote cycling, get more people out on their bikes. I mean, trains are fine, but the train track doesn't run everywhere where you want to go, and uh, a lot of people just think the only option is jump in a car. But uh, you know, if, if facilities were made a bit better for cyclists, and it just got more higher profile, and uh, people see. The more cyclists people see around, the more confident they'll be to go on their own bikes. So, really trying to promote cycling and just show that yeah, you can you can go where you want on a bike, and it's, uh, it's environmentally friendly, it's uh, healthy, get exercise, it's fun, and uh, it's very practical. And it's just the fact that there's a dominant car culture that makes it so difficult to cycle. After after riding with this group for uh, two weeks, I hope it, we've you know I've, uh, I feel so comfortable with them that they will that the the whole thing will be much more you know I'll I'll I'll, I'll have a much clearer image of what's going on and I'll be able to choose the you know the actions and stuff that I that I can that I can really approve of and do the things I I I like or I I can support the most of the that's part of it. It's like it's like building an affinity group. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. It's so you're hoping that after the when you get there, you'll stay together as a. I think we. I think we. I think some of us will divide up. I mean, some people want to go to Edinburgh, some people want to go to Glasgow, some want to go to Fas Lane, and some yeah. want to do Glen Eagles, and some people want to do all. <laughs> yeah. But um, it'd be nice. I think it's going to be. Uh, you know, we're going to we're going to look out for each other a lot more than we would if we were if we'd all just met each other up at the G8. I think yeah. it's a good way to get to know people. Um, but, I mean, but who knows? Who knows? But I'm hoping that will happen. There may be bike block. Bike block. Bike block. I think we're gonna. I mean, at least we're gonna do a critical mass in Edinburgh. Um, we're doing some on the way up. Yeah, I think we're all gonna be really good friends by the end of it. Um, just fun and a lot of good time to plan and meet people and do stuff that's 
important for the G8 and, you know, like really develop things thoughtfully. Where do you come from? I come from Berlin. And you came extra for this bike ride to the G8? Yes. Yes, I wanted to take part in the G8 bike ride and I wanted to see all the left wing projects in England where we are staying. 60 people up to Scotland! I've always wanted a cycle on the way to Rhone. It's a good thing for a better reason than going, could you? It's going to be fun. <laughs> We've got a synthetic vest, or we have a red flag. things like this, quite yeah. big. Yeah. There's so much to do and I feel as though I've done nothing. But I'm really excited and I think this is a really great opportunity for people who believe that we should all behave differently to make the world a better place, to behave differently in a very public and lovely way, like cycling to Scotland. I guess we're sort of doing it to kind of set an example of how you can have transport can be sustainable and we're visiting various places along the route where people have taken action to uh, try and improve their environment. Is that plan of attack? Our first stage onto uh, Glen Eagles. All the way up to here. From here we go left along Stanmore and then up Stanmore Hill along another very nice A road. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. We go through a bushy. In bushy, we get to sing a nice song. Does everyone know this song? It goes, ready? Bushy, bushy, bushy. Bushy, bushy, bushy. Out, out, out! Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on! <laughs> Come on. Okay. All right. Then. <laughs> we navigate our way through Watford, which is going to be a bit hellish because it's a big gyratory system, and cross over the Grand Union Canal. And at the second roundabout, after the Grand Union Canal, we take the small road up. We go up through these small roads up across and through into Berkhamsted, basically up here, and then this A road up to Tring, and then ring, ring. we get to ring our bells then. Ring, yeah. ring. So, connect us to B488, and up to Ivinghoe, then take this B road all the way up to here, it's just roundabout. outside uh, later does it. We cross over to this roundabout where the A418 meets the A505 and that's where we're meeting all the Linslade crew who are going to give us refreshments. Ah, that will be lovely, be so nice. cold drinks. And then up through Linslade and along the B4032. <laughs> 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 Do it in Redfield. Yay! For me the point of the ride is to make a, like a positive statement rather than just protesting in a negative sense. So demonstrating that it's possible to, to take practical action like going up to stop on my bicycle rather than getting the train or driving that. It's quite a simple point. But it's also I think a point about making a sort of building a community out of out of the ride. So mm -hmm. sort of the process is, is an important thing I think. We had a mysterious package arrive for address to the bike ride from someone who couldn't come and they made some uh, little ointments and uh, oils and things for us out in Wales machine sent them for the riders. Definitely, um, if you're a big rider, um, 
do uh, be at the back to encourage the, uh, the, the slower ones. Cool. which is a, a meeting of the eight uh, world's most powerful leaders who totally undemocratically decide the future of our planet. This is an environmental protest amongst other things. Public Park is clean air.